Hello, welcome to this video on understanding of different types of data store. In this video, we are going to explain about what is data store, types of data store, overview of different data stores, and basic storage architecture. What is data store? A data store is a logical storage unit. You have physical storage available on the bottom layer. In that physical storage, we have bunch of disk. And physical storage creates a learn using that bunch of disk and assign it to the ESXi host. And ESXi host uses those learn and create data stores and assign capacity to the virtual machine in form of virtual disk. And whatever file a virtual machine has, such as configuration and other files, and also templates and ISO images that get stored in data store. We can have multiple types of data store. It can be a VMFS, NFS, RDM, vSAN or vWall. What is VMFS data store? VMFS stands for Virtual Machine File System. And whenever you use your VSP environment, it has a partition which is known as VMFS. It is similar to the NTFS partition what we had in Windows. And VMA vSP supports and use the VMFS data stores. We have ESXi host which is connected with the data store which has VMFS partition and virtual machine which are running on that particular ESXi host uses the disk from the VMFS data store. It is a block level storage which can be dynamically expanded. It means you can increase or decrease the size of a VMFS data store. We have three version. One is VMFS 3, VMFS 5 and VMFS 6. VMFS 3 is used by the all ESXi versions. Whereas VMFS 5 is only supported by the ESXi 5.x and 6.x and VMFS 6 is recently launched in a VMware vSphere 6.5 and that is supported by the vSphere 6.5 and 6.7 NFS data store NFS stands for network file system and it is a shared storage over the network and ESXi access on NFS volume located on a NAS server we have NAS storage available on our bottom layer and using the Ethernet port ESXi access that data store and volumes and assign the space to the virtual machine in a form of virtual disk. And it works in a similar way as a VMFS but comparatively with a low on a performance. And if we will talk about the version of NFS, we have two types. One is version 3 and another is version 4.1 another type of data store we have RDM which is also known as raw device mapping so it enables you to store virtual machine files directly on a physical device in a normal data store if we'll talk about the VMFS data store it assign capacity to the virtual machine in form of virtual disk but that is not the case in RDM it is directly attached with a virtual machine and the mapping file is stored on a VMFS data store that points to the raw LAN. and the use case of the RDM is clustering like you use MS clustering and you need directly attached devices directly attached disk so you can use RDM disk in that case we have two type of compatibility mode in RDM one is physical compatibility RDM and second one is virtual compatibility vSAN vSAN pool locally attached storage and create a cluster in early scenarios we had ESXi host which has local disk available and that was useless but after coming vSAN in the picture you can utilize those local attached disk also you do not need to be dependent only on the shared storage and the local disk on ESXi host can also be used in this scenario and single data store is created using disk from the multiple ESXi host. It means that you have multiple 
disk on a multiple ESXi host. You can combine and pull those all disks and create data store and assign and use those data store for the virtual machines. And it enhances the better utilization of your existing hard drives. It has two types. One is hybrid and another one is all flash. In hybrid, we, ha we can have SSD drive as well as SATA drives. And in all flash, we have all drives as a SSD disk. VWAL. VWAL is an integrated and management framework that virtualizes SAN and NAS storage into logical pool capacity. And it simplifies the management through the policy driven automation. And it enables you to apply a policy to a virtual machine which defines the various performance and simplify the delivery of a storage service level to the individual applications. Now coming to the basic storage architecture, we've gone through the storage protocols and different type of data stores. Now we are going through the architecture of storage. We have basic storage on the bottom layer. On top of that, we have storage protocols such as DAS, FC, FCOE, iSCSI, Ethernet, DAS, and FC Ethernet. VFS data store uses DAS, FC, FCOE and iSCSI data stores. Whereas NFS uses Ethernet, vSAN uses DAS and VWAL uses FC and Ethernet. On top of those data stores we have ESXi host and on top of ESXi host we have virtual machines. And this is a complete architecture of a virtual storage. So that's all from this video. In next video, we are going to take a look at thin versus thick disk type. Thank you.